Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at 3D printing technology that you can have in your home. We're going to take a look at the FlashForge Creator Max 2 3D printer with dual independent extruders. This happens to be one of the easiest to set up and run 3D printers that I've experienced. We're going to take a look at all of the features, we're going to look at some of the prints that we've done, and why you should pick this one up this holiday. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, one of the things that sets apart the FlashForge Creator Max 2 is the fact that it has dual extruders. The cool thing about this is that you can have two different colors, one in each extruder, and not only can you have maybe the same print mirrored and print two times the, the items that you're printing, but you could also have different items being printed by each printhead, which is gonna cut down in your print time. Now, the build volume for this printer is 200 by 148 by 150. Now, this printer does support a variety of materials, including PLA, PVA, ABS, as well as ABS Pro. Now, before we take a look at our prints, let's take a look at the printer for a couple seconds. Uh, first of all, this printer supports a variety of material that, like we mentioned, PLA, PVA, ABS, and several others. And depending on the material that you're printing, sometimes you want to have the doors open so that there is good airflow, and then there are other times that you want to close. Uh, so for example, if you're printing PLA, you'd want the door open. If you're printing ABS, you want the door closed. So this, this printer actually supports both. So all you have to do is remove the cover from the top and open up the door, and you're set for uh, PLA. If you're gonna be printing materials that requires little to no airflow and you wanna keep constant temperature inside of the print area, then you just close the doors and put on the cover. So that's something that I really appreciate because a lot of other printers on the market don't really have that feature. Now, uploading your prints to the printer can be done via either a standard um, SD card or a direct connect to your computer via USB. Also, it supports Wi-Fi. Now, as you can see here, the filament spools are mounted in the back of the printer, uh, nicely tucked away, and I haven't experienced any kind of snagging from the filament being fed from the back. Now, I can have two different filament colors, and then also what I did is I printed um, some filament spool holders that I could use uh, that would allow me to use any kind of filament so I'm not restricted in any way to any specific brand. Now, depending on what mood you're in or what colors you like, you also have LED options when it comes to the internal LEDs of the printer. So you can change it to red, you can change it to blue, you can change it to white, you can change it to green, just by simply clicking a button. All right, so next let's take a look at all of the prints that we did on the printer. Uh, so first, uh, we printed a Benchy, and you can see here, really nice finish overall with the Benchy. I did see a small defect or a fail on this print, and it was on this side right here. Now this is one of my very first early prints, and you even saw in the spool print that I think that the actual filament needed to be dehydrated. So we dehydrated the filament, and we didn't see uh, many defects at all coming from this printer. And again, this is stock, so we haven't really made any changes to it or any kind of calibration changes. Uh, to the printer. But you can see overall quality looks good. The only area that we saw that defect was right here. Uh, so really good for its first print. Now we also then did the standard test print uh, of this hook and you can see this how this turned out. Looks really nice. Uh, we have some other things that we did here. Uh, we have here a overhang test and the overhang test really has no supports whatsoever and you can see that it did really really well all the way up to 70 and then when we started going up to 75 or 80 that's where we actually saw um, again some problems now keep in mind that it had no supports at all right so this is just testing the printer itself in this printer test and you can see how well it did everywhere else now in addition to this print uh, we did the standard calibration cube and you can see uh, this calibration cube did really well as well right and again, no adjustments uh, whatsoever. Uh, we did our EBP Man Tech Reviews print, right? And you can see what that looks like right there. All right, looks really good. Uh, we also then did, why not, uh, the Baby Yoda. So here you have him, nice little character here. Still with some support struts there. We also did a mini Mandalorian, and let's look at the detail here. Look at all this detail that we have. Really, really nice, again. This is a silk, silver silk filament that we used. We have Spider-Man, I love this one, a mini Spider-Man here, you can see that. Again, no support at all, right? So they didn't have any there. Uh, and this one came out really, really nice too. Uh, we have the larger uh, Mandalorian and this I printed out with supports, right? And you can see all the detail again. This looks really nice. Uh, and this, uh, we did this uh, mask, right? Uh, great detail here. This one took about 13 hours, and this was with the included blue filament that came with the actual printer. So the white came with the printer, and the blue came with the printer. And you can see here all this detail, really, really nice detail. And this is what this looks like on. All right, so it fits nicely. 
Uh, so even though the build plate seems relatively uh, small, you can get a face mask like this built uh, on the build plate. So you can see how well this looks right here. Really, really, really good, right? So lots of detail here. This one I use support struts and uh, you'll notice that they are right here at the bottom, right? In order to get this one. So I need to clean this up, clip this out a little bit, but I am really happy with the way this turned out. So this is the overall print quality. And I have to say that we have reviewed uh, personally, right? We haven't done a lot on the channel, but we've had 3D printers and I have spent days trying to calibrate printers. Um, I've had misprints. I've had lots of issues. And this printer was an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, it's a great, it just works right out of the box. Very, very little to do with it uh, and no troubleshooting. Um, I've had some very large scale printers, uh, very well known brands on the internet that don't print as well as this one does out of the box. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Flash Forge Creator Max 2 3D printer. See you in the next one.